Last Saturday, we drove up to a rubber plantation just outside of Yangon. It was located on the highway, and it was in a little city called Bago. It was,、uh, which was just outside of Yangon. Here in Myanmar, no one likes KFC. As usual, there were some、um, inspections by the police on the way, but I wasn't allowed to take video at that time. And then、uh, we also stopped at a food area, food and gas pit stop, to get some snacks for the road. Even though we were going to get there very soon, a lot of people have started to travel、um, in Myanmar. Even at the pit stop, we saw a lot of、uh, cars going on long, possibly going on long road trips.、Um, they were pretty packed.、Um, even though there are some civil wars, mini wars going on in some places of Myanmar, people still manage to choose a place that is peaceful and travel there.、Um, Covid situation is pretty under control too,、um, especially since we don't have a lot of people coming in from foreign countries. But I did hear of the Omicron patients、um, that traveled from Dubai. So, but um, the um, it was announced that the the they were caught and. Now in quarantine, but you know, with the political situation, I'm not sure how long they have to stay. How long they are asked to stay in quarantine? They could just bribe and get out of quarantine. That's what a lot of Burmese people do here. They don't really quarantine after traveling outside of Myanmar. They just bribe and then go come out of quarantine. And we were almost at the rubber plantation. It was、um, there was a little village、um, around the plantation. It was quite weird to see because normally the plantations are in the middle of nowhere. You know, it's in、uh, in the middle of a forest. But there was a big town, a, a big village around it. The place is called Saint So Rubber Plantation, and just eyeballing the area, I noticed that it's not that big. So I think they decided to make a camping ground out of it, so that they can make extra money. And I,、um, I hear from the staff working that、um, they live in the village outside of the plantation. The place was very tidy and maintained. Well, we didn't see any trash laying around, so I was very happy about that because normally in places like these, people can be very well. Not all people, more Burmese people can be very、um, disorganized, and they will just throw the trash on the ground. And、um, the place had like. Four to five campsites, and they、um, they had a lot of swings and plays, and hammocks, and some drinking games as well. It was it, it was a fun place, and they allow pets, which I'm very grateful for. They also had a very big sand pit here for children. And usually, Neto will go in the sand and play around and dig the area. But、um, she's gotten into a phase where she doesn't like being dirty that much. I mean, she would still roll on the ground and stuff, but not in not in a pit of sand. You know what I mean?、Um, she tries to look after herself. As she gets older, and I'm hoping that she would also calm down a little bit too. Right now, she has so much energy. You will see that she will just play and play, and then、um, she will ask for food. Oh yeah, she 
Her appetite has grown a lot bigger now after being spayed. After puppies have had their lunch, we started making ours. The barbecue is included in the camping package. Um, it cost around 23500 per person. Um, I guess that would be around 11 12 USD at this current rate. Which I think is a bit expensive for me anyway. So um, even though I enjoyed here the place, I wouldn't go again because of the price. <laughs> 